Izzy from Endless RV. I'm here with Keith from Intech. We're at the 2021 Hershey RV Show. Behind us, we have the most sought after Intech product. This is the Terra, but this one has solar and lithium what the customers are demanding. Keith is gonna give us a full walk around and explain to you what exactly they did with the solar and the lithium. So we did a full walkthrough of a 2021 Terra mm -hmm. at uh, Tampa. We'll link that above. That one's pretty detailed. So what Keith is going to do a quick wrap around inside and out, and then he's really gonna focus on what the updates are regarding the lithium and the solar. All right, so as we come to the Terra here, this is a 26 foot trailer. As many of you have already seen, it does feature our tilt forward design. There on the front, you're gonna have that nice angled cap, the big three ply laminated glass windshield with a cover when you're traveling down the road. It features two LP 20 pound tanks on the inside there. But one neat thing that you see here at the front, which is unique to all Intex, is our full aluminum chassis with the aluminum cage construction. So this is an aluminum chassis that we build in house. It's got the fully welded aluminum cage attached to the top. So it's a unibody construction versus walls and ceilings that are stapled and screwed together. So a very strong build, try to make everything so it's gonna last you a long time. As we come around the side of the unit here, you're gonna see we're gonna have a couple outlets on the side for you. Give you two spots for those to plug in on your camping side. That's gonna be directly underneath your 16 foot Thule awning. And this is a lateral arm awning, so it doesn't have any legs that have to come down to the ground. And then it has two settings of wind sensor. So if you're away from the camper and the wind picks up, this awning is able to retract on its own. It's a really nice piece. This is our first tandem axle that we've made. So the sole product is all a single axle. The dry weight on the Terra is gonna be about 5,700 pounds. But then when you throw, the, you're gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of about 7,500 pounds. So a lot of capacity inside the trailer for hauling. As we move to the back, you'll see we have our slide out kitchen. This is an optional piece. So if you add this option on, you can put a refrigerator with it as well. It comes with a griddle and then has this little table that pops off and mounts to the side of the trailer to give you some additional prep space. If you were to not option in the slide out kitchen, this would actually be a pass through storage. It would go all the way to the other side of the camper. Coming around to the back, you'll see up at the top, we always prep these for a backup camera for you. So your dealer can simply remove that panel, install a camera, the wire is already there, and you have a backup camera. We have our nice big window that's from our bedroom area to see out the back side of the unit, all LED lighting across the back. And then in all Intex, we give you a two inch receiver these are now rated. We actually, we changed the design and bumped that up. It's 175 pounds. So that way for people now with electric bikes or heavier bike racks, they got plenty of capacity to load that up. Here on the off door side of the camper, we'll have a storage compartment. This one's gonna feed all the way through to the kitchen area. Again, if you did not have that kitchen, this would be a pass through storage. And this one, this particular one here, it cuts off about halfway underneath the bed. You'll also have a, your water hookups here on the side and your spray port for your hose on the side of the camper. Coming forward, you're gonna have your shore power hookup, also your cable inlet. So if you're at a campground that does offer cable, that's wired directly to your TV in the main cabin area. As you'll see on the inside here, we'll have two, two TV areas inside this camper. Coming forward, you're gonna have your water heater vent. This is a six gallon water heater, runs off propane or electric, and then also a plug-in. So if you wanna add a, a briefcase type solar system, you can actually plug in right here and this is wired directly to your battery. But before we move any further, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spring. Now, if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade for your Class A, B, C, or Super C motorhome, Liquid Spring is the answer. We have Liquid Spring installed on Nelly, four corner system, and it is outstanding. For our viewers and subscribers, we have the discount code RIDE endlessly. You can get up to $750 off on a new Liquid Spring system. If you're at the Hershey RV show, Go check out their booth, test drive a unit. If not, contact Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring. His information will be below. He'll answer all your questions. And again, if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade, look no further than Liquid Spring. All right, so that's the outside of the Terra. Very similar to what you saw in our previous video, but we'll jump inside and show you some of the updates that we made for 2022. So as you come inside, all of our units, just great open dinette seating area. This is where you really get the advantage of that windshield and also get the advantage of that tilt forward design. Cause really our floor space is gonna end right about in this area here. And then we're gaining all this additional seating capacity by angling this cap forward 
and you know, giving you that big view out of the windshield. As you look over to our kitchen, we're gonna have our deep farmhouse sink in here. You're gonna have your two burner stove, and then you're gonna have a convection microwave oven. So this piece here, you can actually bake and cook with all in one. Off to our other side, we're gonna have a little pantry storage area. So a single slide out drawer, great spot for silverware, items like that. And then underneath, you have a pantry that has slide out drawers. This makes it very easy to get additional food and access it from there. Your TV is gonna be on a swivel. So depending on how you're sitting or where you're at, you can move this around. This one is hooked up to your sound system as well. So you'll have two speakers here in the main cabin. You're gonna have two speakers back in the bedroom area and the TV can run in zones in one or both of those areas. So up here, you're gonna have then your radio controls. You're also gonna have your command center where you can check your black tank, gray tank levels and fresh tank levels. I'm on this particular unit, we are at 44 gallons on each of those items. So you have 44 gallon fresh, gray, and black tank. So a lot of good storage, you can or waste storage, you can stay out for quite a while before you have to dump on this trailer. Refrigerator is gonna be a 10 cubic foot with compressor. So that's got very positive reviews from customers that have used it so far versus the heat absorptions that we've used in the past. This one cools very well, very light on the energy. And when we touch on the solar, that's pretty important to have something that's not sucking down the battery too quickly. Moving back, you're gonna have your shower room. So we put our shower and then our toilet and sink room on opposite sides. Nice, you don't get all the water and humidity of the shower into your bathroom area that way. This is just like our sole bathrooms and the fact that it doesn't have a shower curtain. We use that exterior door to be able to seal it all off. Come to the other side, you're gonna have your toilet room and your sink area there. A lot of good space inside this little bathroom. You can move around very well in it. Good storage as well. So as we come back into the bedroom, you have a lot of good space. A lot of customers have really appreciate how open this bedroom is. You know, your space from the bed to the walls, wide open. You have a little toe kick underneath the bed as well. So you do have good room to change and move around in this bedroom. You have a wardrobe area back here. We put some hanging hooks across the back and then there's also a bar that goes across the top of it for hangers, little cubbies underneath. And then we try to maximize storage all the way around this bedroom. You'll see uppers all throughout. You'll see nightstands. Lots of place to put folded clothes and items that you need in the bedroom. One huge storage spot that we have though that goes kind of missed is underneath this bed. This is on gas shocks here, pulls right up. And now your entire under bed area is storage. So then you do have another TV in the bedroom area as well. So this again on a swivel, you can kick that out at a 45, makes it a nice view right from the bed. As we're looking at our barn door here, this is a nice, cause you can completely seal off this bedroom. This door is on a barn slider rolls. We actually changed the mechanisms that hold it closed now. So it has a little magnet in the open position. So that way, if you are at a slight angle or at a campground, it's not rolling closed on you. And then when you're traveling down the road, we give you this little latch system that drops in right there to make sure that that door is not moving around on you in transit. So one neat update we made for 2022 due to customer demand and request was a solar and lithium system. So this unit right here is equipped with a 400 watt solar panel system. It's 400 watts obsidian solar panels. And those are the glass panels actually raised up off the roof. So they have really good life to them. And that feeds into two lithium batteries. They're Expion lithium batteries and they're each 100 amp hours a piece. So 200 amp hours of battery life. And there's a charge controller called an MPPT charge controller on this unit. And what that is versus a, a variable or a pulsing charge, which is a little bit slower to charge your batteries. This gives a consistent charge to the battery. So they will charge up very quickly compared to some systems out there. Up here, you'll see access to your controls. So we're gonna have a little Expion battery monitor. This unit is plugged in right now. So you'll see that flashing. If it was not plugged in, it would tell you what the percentage you have of battery life and then how long it's gonna last based on what you're using. So in this unit, everything can run off of the solar except for the AC. So all your TVs are gonna work, all of your 110 outlets are gonna work. Across the board, you're gonna have full access. And with this amount of solar, you're gonna be able to go a long time if you manage your power and you've got those panels in the sun. So thank you, Keith, for that. Now, these are so popular that the price is see the manager, right? <laughs> What's the reason for that? Right now in our current setup, these are sold mostly into next spring and summer. Not a lot of available production slots that aren't pre-sold. But the neat thing is you still can, if you if you get a hold of a dealer now, be set up for next camping season to get into one. And then the pricing structure in our current economy right now, obviously things are changing quite a bit. So the dealer will work with you individually on what the price of the unit might be at that point in time. All right, so in the comments below, let us know, have you been looking at the Terra? We really love this floor plan. I know it's super popular, as Keith said. Put in the comments below, you've been looking at one, do you have one? 
What is your feedback? And for myself, MJ, and Keith, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.